but I'm going to start first of all with this piece from CNN uh, World News about the Playboy uh, tortoise that had so much sex he has saved his entire species and now he's going home. That's beautiful. A womanizing tortoise whose <laughs> rampant sex life. Uh, hold on, hold on. Womanizing. <laughs> yeah. Not like female tortoises, women. Women. Human, <laughs> human, human women. Human females. Human females are all over this guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, whose rampant sex life may have single-handedly saved his entire species from extinction, has retired from his playboy lifestyle, returning to the wild with his mission accomplished. Returning to the wild. Um, Diego's unstoppable libido uh, was credited as a major reason for the survival of his fellow giant tortoises on Espanala, part of the Galapagos Islands, after being shipped over from San Diego Zoo as be- as part of a breeding program. When he started his campaign of, of uh, promiscuity, there were just two males and 12 females of his species alive on the island. But the desirable shell dweller had so much sex, he helped boost the population to over 2,000 giant hell. tortoise. A total of 15 tortoise uh, took part in the breeding program to boost the island's population, but none played a bigger role as Diego. About 1,800 tortoises have been returned to Espanala, and now uh, the natural reproduction, we have approximately 2,000. Tortoise. Roger Federer has issued a statement after activist Greta Thunberg takes a swipe at the Swiss star. Do you hear about this? Takes a swipe? Takes a swipe. Um, so Roger Federer came under attack from climate activists uh, for his relationship with uh, Credit Suisse. Mm. Um, he says he will hold talks with his sponsors after being criticized by climate change activists, including Greta Thunberg. Federer has a long-term link with Swiss bank Credit Suisse. Um, but the relationship came under scrutiny with it when a dozen Swiss climate activists appeared in court on Tuesday after refusing to pay a fine for playing tennis inside branches of the bank. The stunt was designed to highlight the bank's fossil fuel investments and to, quote, stop people acting like nothing is happening. Um, the young activists, mostly students, were fined around 17000 for trespassing at, at Credit Suisse branches in November. Footage from the incident shows the students dressed in white tennis clothes to highlight Federer's link to the bank, giving inside uh, the branches in Los, Lausanne and Geneva. So now he is um, under scrutiny. from you know, 17 grand. 17 grand for trespassing. That's pretty steep. Like, that's very it? steep. That's, ten, that's the type of like... You can imagine, like, 20 years ago, it was like, we'll teach these young and up-and-comers a lesson about where their place in the world. And it's like, today, it's just like, that's oh, just, you're just fucking money machine bank bastards. Yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah. these are. Nicholas Cage spend New Year's Eve, spends New Year's Eve in a small Somerset pub. I heard this. And buys everyone a drink. Yeah. <laughs> I love Nicholas Cage. Before I, I go yeah, into this, I, I love Nicholas yeah, Cage. I, yeah. I, I he is our national treasure. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... So Is US it? actor Nicholas okay. Cage stunned regulars at a small Somerset pub by spending New Year's Eve there and buying them all a drink. The Oscar winner, who's 55, was quote unquote a total legend and a cool dude. Um, one local said on Reddit, he posted uh, Nicholas Cage spent New Year's Eve in my small local pub in Somerset and he bought everyone a drink. A photo shows Nick Cage standing behind, behind the bar of the Tramway Social Club while in another he's seen posing for a selfie our newest member nicholas cage the club posted on his facebook page um membership is 10 pound a year <laughs> <laughs> and half that for pensioners the club says on its website oh, it was serious. recently refurbished and brought up to a modern high standard of finish and comfort uh, posting on the facebook uh page one reveler described cage as a legend saying it was so kind uh, of him to have bought us all a drink um the star reportedly has a house in Baltonborough near Glastonbury and used to live in Bath where he turned on the city's Christmas lights in 2009. Uh, he won the Academy Award in addition to a Golden Globe and Screen Actors Guild Award for his role as alcoholic Hollywood writer in Leaving Las Vegas. The Nostradamus World War Three prophecy is now the time when East will weaken the West. Um, that was Nostradamus's prophecy and with the whole Trump um, going batshit crazy and Iran. nuking <laughs> Iran essentially yeah. um, Nostradamus's chilling predictions of the future make him the leading authority on future events but did the 16th century um, apothecary predict the outbreak of World War 3 I mean <sighs> his name was Michel de Nostradam commonly known as Nostra- Nostradamus um, is said to have predicted a time when quote the east will weaken the west the scenario came close to unfolding um, in the new year when tensions between the United States and Iran escalated into an exchange of fire on January 3rd US President uh, Donald Trump sanctioned a drone airstrike on Iran's much revered Quds Force leader, Qasem Soleimani. 
in Baghdad in Iraq. Um, Iran retaliated in the early morning of January 8th with coordinated missile attacks on U.S. Army bases in Iraq. As both countries locked horns in the Middle East, many fear the tensions would escalate in a full-blown World War III scenario. Um, but what did Nostradamus have to say about all this? Well, the French uh, prophesizer is attributed with penning his predictions of the future uh, 1555 magnum opus. Um, I think that's his book. Magnum opus is like his big work. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. A collection of cryptic passages um, dubbed quatrains. Did you know this? What? That they were called like quatrains and he had a full book of his work. Quatrains are just like four line verses, aren't they? Is that all it is? Yeah. Uh-huh. We learned about... You did quatrains, Chris, in uh, uh, level English. Ah, uh, level <laughs> English is a long time ago. Just One quatrain in particular is considered by many to be for, a forewarning of the global war breaking out. Um, the quatrain reads, Twice put down, the east will also weaken the west. Its adversary, after several battles, chased by sea, will feel at a time of need. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's pretty... What do you call that? It's not very vague. Diff- yeah, it's yeah. very vague. Like Owned. I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like that vague shit. But no, I I am yeah. fascinated by that. I, I used think to. It's, I, I used to really awesome, think yeah. Nostradamus was spooky and that was crazy. But now I'm just like, ah, oh, really? It could be anything. Like I have a bit of local news about farmers. Um, Great stuff. We don't our- have enough farmers on this show. <laughs> well, farmers in our local area left to count the cost after reports of sheep worrying incidents in the Tynan area. Sheep worrying? Yeah. So I, oh. I'm assuming that uh, a number of yeah a number of animals have been killed during incidents of oh, sheep okay. worrying in the Derry Haw area of Tynan. Now Tynan's not far from here, a couple of miles from here, really. It's just up the road, Chris. And um, local yeah. farmers have been left counting the cost after their flocks were attacked by dogs venturing into their lands in recent days. So is this like? Dogs gone wild. I think so. Yeah, I'm not really. I'm not going to get too into that because sheep. Anyone who's listened to us, like anywhere in the world, just won't yeah. care about this. But. I don't know because I think the people in America need to know about the tiny sheep problems. 